Hey y'all, happy Pride! I am off to Columbus, Ohio for Franklinton Pride. Columbus Pride unfortunately isn't happening this year due to the pandemic, but Franklinton, a small little section in Columbus is stepping it up for year two and they're having their own quaint little pride. I can't wait to learn from the locals what Franklinton Pride means to them and figure out what makes Columbus spark. Let's get on a plane and go to Columbus. Robbie's Road to Pride. Robbie's Road to Pride. Columbus, Ohio. The 14th largest city in the United States oozes diversity. A city with top-notch art, mind-blowing exhibits that are pushing the boundaries on inclusivity. A city with a super creative culinary scene echoed by small-owned businesses, food halls, markets, and vegetarian heaven. A city with representation amongst the queer culture, epic drag shows, and a constant yearn for change. Now it's time to learn what lights up the people in this beautiful, queer, charming capital of Ohio. What gives you the most life and energy about Columbus, Ohio? Ah, oh, hello, it's my hometown. I mean, I live here, I love it here. Um, this, is a, this is a community that's based on support and love and nurturing and trying to build one another up. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a city with a heart and gumption and like a can-do attitude. I know that sounds crazy, but it's the Midwest. We're a progressive city that wants to see, I think, everyone rise to the, to the top. And I think that's my story. And that's a lot of people's stories. Go West! Go West! I've had the opportunity to live in New York. I've had the opportunity to live in San Francisco and Atlanta. Um, I think what really excites me about Columbus is that we're still young and scrappy and evolving and changing. And so, you know, I think uh, anyone who comes to the community at this particular point uh, is able to make an impact and, and have it seen right away. People are very happy here. It's a very youthful city. It's a liberal city. It's a very gay city. It's also a very easy city to get around. Very few cities in this country have a mile and a half long district with shops, restaurants, bars, art galleries, just about everything you want to do, including great architecture on both sides of the street, historic districts, and a really beautiful park. Coming out in college, it felt safe in Columbus. I have the honor of serving this great city as a Columbus City Council President. I'm the first openly gay council president and uh, youngest council president too, and so it's just really exciting to have folks in and get to see a little bit of what we're about. We literally encapsulate every letter of the alphabet and we we accept it, we embrace it, and we live by it, and we move forward with it. People think that Columbus is a farm town, and absolutely is not. It is the 14th largest city in the country. We have a huge fashion scene, a huge food scene, a huge art scene, and we just uh, we want everyone to know. We are completely a walkable community, so put your sneakers on and get out there. After jaunting around Columbus, let's explore Franklinton Pride. So what does Franklinton Pride mean to you? You know what, one, we have to acknowledge uh, this last year that we've been through. So with COVID and being separated from the yeah. family, uh, it's just nice to be back together again. Uh, also with uh, everything that we went through with Black Lives Matter and this racial awakening, it's good to have diversity out and have it shining and lean into that saying that love wins and it will win and it does win over and over again and if you look around what you see today and what you'll see all day throughout Columbus uh, this is a great representation of that. Franklin and Pride to me is really a step back to the grassroots you know we have these big corporate prides and all these things happen and this year that wasn't able to happen um, because of permits and all that stuff and so Franklinton is this like smaller kind of arts community that stepped in and we're like we're gonna do it ourselves and then it just got bigger and bigger so it almost feels like a return to the beginning where it's like queer people activating and like doing it themselves. It means spending time with family, making memories. You hear that? It means allyship. Everyone loves everyone. This pride specifically, is, it's an incredible community pride where we're all coming together to celebrate coming out of COVID but also remind ourselves of what the fight is. 
Franklin's in Pride, lots of booze, lots of music, comedy, entertainment, community. I gotta tell you, uh, this has been a lot of work, a lot of work, but this has been fun work because everybody in Franklinton has been awesome. Everybody really came together to make this thing happen. The businesses that helped to sponsor this are almost all local. Oh, I love it, so it's not big corporations. No. That's great. I know. Getting back to the roots of Pride, right? Yes, exactly. I started when it wasn't cool to be gay. I, I remember doing Prides where I got stuff thrown at me and they were protesters. And to come this far and see that, you know, now you can come out and just be yourself, as opposed to back in the 90s, I, I'm just, I'm just happy that I was a part of it. It's, it's really, I, there's a lot of people who didn't make it, and I just wish they could be here to see that where it, where it, where it is now. Franklin's and Pride to me is about accepting your community and your neighbors for who they are, and showing that if their friends and family don't support them, there's a larger community that can be your brothers and sisters for you. To be here and celebrating in this way with my family and with so many other families is really, really cool. Surrounding your children with the same influences that you want them to have moving forward and just immersed in the culture of it all. It means the ability to be myself in an area, honestly, this is a small area of Columbus, so even in small parts of Columbus, they're so accepting of every person. I love this Pride, second annual. Uh, love the main stage, love the music, love the people. I've been here 17 years. I love Columbus. I love the community, the neighborhoods, the culture, the people. Uh, visit Columbus when you get. It's a gem of the Midwest. Please come. I know you're single or taken. Taken. Fucking turn the camera off! <laughs>